Hi everyone, Miss Lott here. So today's health lesson, we're going to be talking about the importance of not smoking. So we're going to start off with our brain pop video. A carton of cigarettes? I, I don't know how they do things in France, mister, but here in America, we have rules about kids buying those. Dear Tim and Moby, my brother smokes, and I want him to stop. Can you give me some facts about smoking? From Sarah. Well, let's see. Smoking causes deadly illnesses like emphysema, lung cancer, and heart disease. It ups your chances of getting sick and injured, it slows you down in sports, gives you bad breath, makes you cough, and stinks up your whole life. And it exposes your friends and family to dangerous secondhand smoke. So as you can see, those were all reasons why it's important to not really hang out with someone that smokes. It's very harmful. You can get the secondhand smoke. So any reaction and the fumes coming from other people's cigarettes, um, they could have very bad breath. So as you can see, those were all examples of why it's, it's harmful to hang out with someone that smokes. Well, cigarettes are made of a plant called tobacco plus hundreds of other substances, like ammonia, a harsh chemical used in cleaning products, cadmium, a toxic metal that's common in rechargeable batteries, and formaldehyde, which is used to preserve dead bodies. None of these are things you want inside your lungs. Some natural cigarette brands have no additives, but they're still terrible for you. That's because when you burn tobacco, the smoke contains thousands of other chemicals. Dozens of them are carcinogenic, known to cause cancer. So as you can see, even though there are natural cigarettes, they are still very harmful to your body as they can cause cancer as well. Yeah, I don't know why they're even legal. Cigarettes stop your lungs from doing their job. They're supposed to take in oxygen so it can be carried to the rest of your body. But tobacco smoke contains a substance called tar. It's a sticky mixture of those dangerous chemicals we talked about. Tar damages the cells in your lungs, making it harder to breathe. Over time, that damage can develop into cancer. In fact, smoking is the number one cause of lung cancer. But so as you can see, that sticky tar chemical coming from the cigarettes um, can cause lung cancer. It's not just your lungs that are at risk. Smoking damages your circulatory system and heart. It's one of the leading causes of heart disease. It also harms your skin, eyes, and liver. Pretty much every major organ in the body is damaged by smoking. Well, people start smoking for all kinds of reasons. They may think it makes them look cool, or do it because their friends or family members smoke. But once someone starts, it's really, really hard to quit. The reason for that is a drug in tobacco called nicotine. After it's inhaled, Nicotine triggers the release of adrenaline. That's a chemical your body produces in scary or exciting situations. Adrenaline makes the heart beat faster, which increases blood pressure. Doing that over and over every day is not good for the heart. But this little adrenaline rush makes smokers feel alert and stimulated. Nicotine also triggers chemicals that make people feel relaxed. Smokers begin to rely on cigarettes to experience those feelings. They become addicted which means they're unable to stop. At the same time, they develop a tolerance to nicotine. They need to use more and more of it to get the same pleasurable effects. Well, when smokers try to quit, they usually experience withdrawal. They can feel irritable, anxious, hungry, and restless. They may struggle to concentrate or go to sleep. People who stop smoking successfully usually need a lot of support. That's why it's way easier to just not start in the first place. Yeah, electronic cigarettes or e-cigarettes contain nicotine too. They were first sold as a way to quit smoking. The idea is that over time you switch to ones with less and less nicotine. Eventually you switch to a nicotine-free version and voila, you're not addicted anymore. Unfortunately, these devices haven't been all that successful in getting people to quit cigarettes. If anything, they've become another way for people to get addicted to nicotine. They come in kid-friendly flavors like fruit or candy.
and the ads often claim that they're a safe alternative to cigarettes. But as we've seen, nicotine puts stress on the circulatory system. That's why chewing tobacco isn't a safe option either. It contains all the nicotine of cigarettes, plus an added risk of mouth and gum cancers. I know it stinks, but you can't force someone to stop smoking. People have to decide to quit on their own. But that doesn't mean you can't help. If someone in your life smokes, let them know that you care about them and that you're worried about their health. You can write them a note or show them this movie if that makes it easier to get the conversation going. It's really hard to break free of an addiction on your own. Fortunately, there's all kinds of help for those who want to quit, like books with detailed strategies for breaking the nicotine habit, groups where ex-smokers meet to give each other support, and medicines that can help with those nicotine cravings. It can take a few weeks or even a few months to quit for good. But the good news is that once you stop, your body immediately starts repairing the damage. Right. If you're trying to quit smoking, remember that you don't have to do it alone. Talk to a parent or another adult you trust. It's not the easiest thing to admit, but trust me, they'll be happier knowing that you're trying to stop. Um, no, I don't think that's the best idea. All right, so now we're going to go over here. Let's see. All right, so how does nicotine affect our bodies? So as you can see, once you start, you cannot stop. It's very tough to stop smoking. Um, and then nicotine gives you a faster heartbeat, and it that is what adrenaline is. So you might get adrenaline from playing in a basketball game you get very excited to do something so it brings your heart rate faster so smoking does the same thing because of the nicotine this is a picture of secondhand smoke so as you can see this person right here is smoking and all this chemicals is going into this person's body so even though you're this person is not smoking they're still getting the chemicals from the smoke This is a no smoking sign, so you might see that in a lot of restaurants, some public areas, especially in New Jersey, there's not much smoking allowed at restaurants or public areas. Um, so this is a sign that would say that no smoking is allowed. And this is a little cartoon um, with Superman and someone smoking a, a cigarette. All right, so right here we are going to compare cigarettes. So cigarettes is the yellow side to e-cigarettes, which is the green side. And in the middle is their similarity, so what they both have. So the cigarettes, the cigarettes contain tobacco. You can get secondhand smoke from cigarettes. They are banned in many public areas. And this is a picture of uh, cigarettes. On the e-cigarette side, they are used when people try to stop smoking. So people think that the e-cigarettes is a way to wean off from and you know slowly stop smoking, but e-cigarettes are just as bad as cigarettes for you. They come in different fruity flavors and e-cigarettes come in many shapes and sizes. So these are all different types of e-cigarettes. So they both are very addictive and they both contain nicotine. All right, guys, so why don't you then now go back over to your Google form and fill out all the rest of the questions and refer back to the video or the, this um, slide, the slides, if you have any questions or concerns. Bye, everyone.